Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. What I'd like to show you today is uh, my new mining rig that I've that I've been working on. It's uh, as I call it monster rig. It consists of uh, 18 GPUs um, and three motherboards, power supplies, etc. Basically three setups. Uh, what I'd like to focus on is uh, this one, uh, which you can see right now, which is uh, which consists of six RX 570 gigabyte cards. Uh, they are 4G and uh, they've been doing pretty well. Uh, this is one of the rigs or one of these three rigs that is already finished. Um, I'm happy with its performance and uh, and that's what I'm going to focus on for the moment. Uh, so to give you an idea, um, it's currently doing 167 mega hash there about, um, which, which means one of the cards is doing about 26, 27, uh, mega hash per second, or even a little more, I guess. Um, I'm using uh, team viewer to manage my, uh, my mining rigs as I'm currently running on windows platform. Uh, reason for that is I was sort of um, I, I just couldn't handle Linux not having the proper drivers for mining, meaning um, bit bit uh, blockchain drivers, which increase the performance of your GPUs by like 10%, or at least I didn't find a way how to how to manage to uh, get them to work. So that's why I'm working with uh, Windows. Uh, this machine is currently running on Windows Server. Uh, as you can see, uh, so they are doing 27.8 for past 113 hours. So that's yeah, in six hours it's going to be five days, five days straight. Uh, so that I think it's pretty stable, pretty good. Um, as you can see, the fans are running on 60% thereabouts. Uh, I like to keep my my GPUs under 60 60 degrees uh, because. I hope it prolongs their life. I mean, I don't. I haven't been in mining for that uh, that long to know uh, how long they're gonna they're gonna be able to last. So I hope hope for the best. Uh, simply put, um, what I'd like to show you is uh, the BIOS or the setup on on the GPUs that I have. So uh, it, it is not overclocked afterwards. So these are BIOS values. Um, I'm gonna share this BIOS in the description of the video because I think it's a pretty good one. Uh, it's uh, for, I believe these are Hynix cards, uh, Hynix memories. In case you would like to use this one, you need to make sure that you, you have exactly the same GPUs with exactly the same memory. Otherwise you might end up with, with causing headache for yourself. So please try to avoid uh, using for any different cards and make sure that this, these are the ones that you're you're using. You can easily check that with GPU Z. It's a it's a pretty handy tool. And uh, as soon as it's gonna load up, I'd like to show you the details. Um, so yeah. Um, in the meantime, the memory normally out of stock. It's about 1750 uh, on the four four G GPUs, which are 570 and 580 RX. Uh, so I, I have it on 2000, it's slightly uh, undervolted and also the GPU um, or GPU's processor is undervolted and also underclocked to uh, con consume less less electricity. So yeah, these, these uh, memories uh, are, or these GPUs have Hynix memories, so that's what you want to use it for. Not, no other type of memories this bias should be used for. Um, so so that's it um still doing 167 so really like i said i'm quite happy with it uh in terms of profitability uh it's been running for those few days as i mentioned and uh it's been doing stably those 165 plus ish uh which is currently around 12 dollars a day which is pretty good roi um it's gonna pay out in about five six months um plus electricity on top of it obviously so it's not gonna be that great but i, I still think it's, it's it's decent so um that's it for the moment uh thank you guys for watching and uh we'll look into next tricks next time uh so bye bye